Good evening. Welcome to the Wednesday night devotional. Before we get started, let's just say a word of prayer. Father God, thank you for another day. Thank you, Lord, that you've given us more and more opportunities to just be together and and to, to glorify your name, Lord. Father, I pray that tonight, this message that you've, you've laid on my heart, Lord, I pray that it touches at least, you know, just one person out there. I pray that this message is, is from you and only from you, Lord. I ask this in your name. Amen. So a couple of years ago, I uh, hurt myself being silly. And it was really like a lot more serious than I realized. Um, I ended up going to the emergency room and all, all these things, right? And for about four weeks, I think it was, I had to walk around with my arm in a sling and all of that sort of stuff because what I'd done was I'd pulled all the tendons in, in my right shoulder. And... It was so frustrating. So as anybody would know, if you've hurt yourself, you know, you, you just can't use that particular limb or whatever the case may be. Like in my case, I couldn't use my arm. Um, I couldn't drink coffee properly. I'm right-handed and I always use my right hand to drink my coffee and I just couldn't. And it drove me nuts. It was so frustrating. I could see my arm there, it looked fine, but it wasn't. And that's kind of what I want to talk about tonight is even though it, it looked okay, it just wasn't the same. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 12 verses 4 and 5 that we're members of the body of Christ. Looking at all of us, we're fitted together. Don't you think that that's an amazing thing that God the creator of all the universe, fitted those who believe in Jesus together in the same body of Christ. When Jesus saves us, when God saves us, we're not saved to live alone. God has saved us into an intimate, deep, spiritual connection in the body of Christ. And that's what I want to talk about today. That we are one in the body of Christ. It also says in, in 1 Corinthians 12.13 that by one spirit we are baptized into one body, no matter our race, country, or if we are men or women. A quick side note, that is so cool to me. It means that no matter who you are, that if you accept and believe in Jesus Christ, ask him for forgiveness and you follow him, you're part of his body. We all have talents, right? Things we're good at. We all have something different in us or about us that, we're, that we excel at. We all bring something to the table. Some people are great organizers. Some people are great with paperwork. Some people are great with technical things. Some people are good with working with their hands. Some people are called to be missionaries. Some to be pastors or evangelists. Some are called to make coffee on a Sunday. And others to lead worship. We all have a calling on our lives. And it might be some, as something as simple as making that coffee on a Sunday morning. And that's okay. Because being a part of the body of Christ means that we all work together. And, in the same, and it's the same in life. You can't win in life if you isolate yourself. It's like that story of the coal that gets taken out of the fire. I'm sure you guys all know about it. When it's taken out, it starts dying. And it's the same, it's the same with us. We need to be around other believers. We need to be a part of that body because when we aren't, when we isolate ourselves, 
we start fading. The body suffers for it. Each part has a different function. And the body can't do its job unless each piece is there. I can speak from personal experience where if I don't attend young adults on a, on a Wednesday night, I feel lost for the rest of the week. Things just don't feel right. And during, during the, the lockdown period, I can't explain, I can't, there's no words for me to explain how difficult it was for me to go for so long without seeing my other family. Because they lift me up. They bring me back into a place where I know I'm not judged. I know that I'm loved and that I mean something. They hold me accountable. They make sure that I'm still walking the path that, that God has laid, laid before me. And most importantly, they fellowship with me. We worship together. I can't, I honestly can't imagine my life without them. And being a part of the body just is just that. Is being a part of something that you just can't live without. So I want to encourage you. Make sure that you connect. Make sure that you are part of the body. Join a life group. Join a home cell. Go to church on a Sunday morning or evening. I promise you, the difference that it makes in your life is unreal. Let's just end off with a quick word of prayer. Father God, thank you for your grace and your mercy. Lord, thank you for what you did for us on the cross. Thank you for inviting us and, and welcoming us into your body, Lord. Father, I pray that everybody that, that hears this message tonight, Lord, I pray that they are able to meet with your body, Lord. I pray that they are able to connect, Lord, so that they too can understand what a joy it is to be a part of your body. Father, I pray your blessings on each and every person that, that hears this message tonight, Lord. I ask this in the name of your precious Son, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.